Hello, dear friends. A very good morning. May God bless all of you. May the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, yes, the Holy Spirit, or if you who still haven't received the Holy Spirit, if you understood how glorious and valuable He is and efficient in conducting our lives, for sure you would give everything, everything, you would give up on anything, even your own life, your own life, as that parable that Jesus spoke about when he said that the kingdom of heaven, when we receive the Holy Spirit, the king of the kingdom of God begins to dwell inside of us and to govern our lives. That's what we are talking about. The day that you have the privilege of having the Holy Spirit, and I say that obviously to those who don't have him yet, because those who do have him, for sure, they understand me. They have that joy in, in the soul as we mention the Holy Spirit, when we meditate about the Holy Spirit. But those who don't have Him yet, if they only knew the value, the greatness of God, of having the Holy Spirit, they wouldn't be questioning anything. They would put everything on the altar. So Jesus said in the parable that the kingdom of heaven is like a man who found, he found a treasure of great value in a field. He went there, he hid the treasure and sold everything he had, everything. He placed absolutely everything, everything, his entire life in order to acquire that field. And once he bought the field, then that was it. He became the owner of the treasure. And then you can understand what Jesus is talking about concerning the greatness of receiving the Holy Spirit. Just to illustrate this better, to speak in a clearer, more direct way. When Jesus would lead the disciples, he was next to them, side by side. But then Jesus sometimes would go pray by himself. And then the disciples were away from him and they would feel lost. Whenever Jesus would come back again to be with them, then they would feel comforted. They would feel safe and strong in their faith. Strong in their faith. However, when Jesus died, he was arrested and so on, when everything happened, then they started to question themselves. You can see that Thomas doubted the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Look at that. He was with Jesus throughout those three years and a half of his ministry. But in the moment that he needed, that the Lord needed him the most, Thomas doubted and denied his faith. The same thing happened with Peter when Jesus was being judged. You are one of them, right? A person there said. And then he said, Peter said, no, I don't know this man. Why? What, what do I, am I trying to say? What I'm saying is that when Jesus was with them, side by side with them, they were safe, they had faith. But when Jesus would go be alone and pray to the Father, then they would feel lost, disoriented. Well, dear friends, my beloved listeners, pay attention. When a person receives the Holy Spirit, do you know what happens? He, the Holy Spirit, makes his dwelling place in that person's body, in their mind, in their intellect. And that's why Paul says 
that we have the mind of Christ, the mind of God, which means that Jesus is no longer side by side, but he's inside of us. So it doesn't matter if we see Jesus or not, if we feel him or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is that he is inside of us. And this assurance, this conviction, only the Holy Spirit can give. He gives us this conviction. Without this conviction, we are lost. So you who are watching me now, you have to have the Holy Spirit, not only to be saved, but to preserve your salvation, the salvation of your soul. And listen, this is extremely important. It's the most important thing of your life, more important than your father, your mother, your children, your husband, your wife, your family, your possessions, your reputation, more important than everything else in this life is to have the Holy Spirit. Because if you have the Holy Spirit, you have the great treasure, the unlimited, infinite treasure inside of you, wherever you go, he will be inside of you. And then, and then, it happens what Jesus said, that he who believes in me shall never die. Meaning that when the person receives the Holy Spirit and they fall asleep in this world. They don't die. The unbelievers, they die. But a person who has the Holy Spirit, when they fall asleep in this world, then they wake up in heaven. Lazarus, when he woke up, he woke up in Abraham's bosom, in, on Abraham's lap. We can put it this way. But the Christians, those who are baptized, sealed in the Holy Spirit, when they fall asleep in this world, they wake up in the bosom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what you have to understand. So it's worth you placing all of your strength, all of your vigor, all of your future, all of your youth, or the rest of the days that you still have in this world. Because the Holy Spirit is the treasure that is hidden to those who do not fear God. Those who do not fear God, poor them, they are already dead in their sins and trespasses. But those who have the Holy Spirit, these live for the glory, honor, and adoration of the Lord Jesus here on earth. While they are here on earth, they are the blessing itself. They are the fountain of life. This is it. And when they fall asleep here in this world, they will wake up in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Did you understand? It's worth you making this investment. It's worth you losing, inverted common here, this world, the offers of the world. It's worth losing everything but receive the glory of the Lord Jesus through the Holy Spirit inside of you, and He will be with you for the rest of your life here on earth and for all eternity there in heaven. May God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.